us both young and old. Now today we'll be doing Terminator 2, or what I would like to call Terminator Judgment Day. Our Judgment Day. Boy, this was one bad game. Yeah, you heard me snapping my pen, trying to let's say talk about it. Well, we have a story here. And we start with a tomboy person. Okay, that's not tomboy, that's a Sarah Connor, which is John Connor's mama. And she has gone to the mental ward because after the turmoil she had gotten, while John Connor is being adopted by a couple of jerkass. Now, since Skynet failed selling the Terminator to let's say kill John Connor and Sarah Connor, so why not they send an, another Terminator? And this time, John Connor from the future, after listening to his friend John Carter, decided to be much more humane this time, not to send a, a person, but to send a robot. Yes, this is John Connor when he's a kid. Sadly, everything being rebooted, we don't like the best John Connor in the grown up. So this time is the, let's say, Terminator that you all know that Arnold is the good guy. Happy now? Happy now? Help. Don't be too happy guys, because this game kinda sucked. Well, it does have its good moments, no doubt. Yeah, the image is good. The video game plays fine, and it's quite loyal to actually sit or give a material. But the first gameplay you encounter is going to drive you to pull your hair off. It's that bad. At present, you just, okay, you have got your clothes for no good reason, you need to fight these biker gangs to all the way to, let's say, get to the other side. And you can see those biker gangs are kind of tough. Yeah. I am Terminator. How come I need so many punches to kill a person? Look, and the way he's been hit is kind of funny. Just wag at the back. Oh god, who designed this? And I can't even be hit by the motorcycle. I need to avoid the motorcycle bike. And those guys with the sticks, really? Oh god. Okay, target programming, blah 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 blah. Oh, I do not need this. Come on, let me continue the game, okay? Oh, I need to find the gang leader. I was stuck in this level for more than two hours just fighting these guys. Turn out I need to go walk around and find the leader while fighting more of you guys. Oh, this is wonderful. This is just great. Just freaking great. And is, is this the guy? And. I am the Terminator, damn it! How how come this guy looks so tough? He should be a Terminator, not me. I mean if Arnold just run with this guy, the first thing he do just take off his head and take off the glasses and give the coat and give it to him. You go and save John Connor. It's it's not my job anymore. Oh god, what the hell am I doing here? Well at least I got a weapon now and a bike and some clothes and boots. Oh, now this is one of the good parts about our game. You get a good shotgun and wow. I have no idea T-1000 could have such a sinister look. That was freaking scary. Yeah, that was freaking scary. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, mission status, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I got four units. Now, let's go to the next fight. Okay, this is the very iconic part of the movie. Now, you need to, let's say, make sure you don't run or anything and then the... T-1000 will be in the truck at the back of you, trying to crush you, so you need to make sure, make sure you shoot all your obstacles or duck all your obstacles, blast through the doors, and make sure that the T-1000 crush you. Time and time he'll come out and he will run over you, just that you know. This is not that easy. You need to manage your shots, either shooting in front to clear your way, and shooting at the back to make sure you push him back. Yeah, don't ask me how come you're so enemy animation. And kind of think about it, yeah, this is tough. This is difficult. But compared to the first fight that I had, oh, this is this is this is a breeze and much more interesting. Okay, now I've caught up with John Connor. Yeah, target acquired. And I need to say, that's the best part of the game. That, my friends, was the best part of the game. The other parts will only get worse. Remember the good old maze that we have to deal with in the first game. Yeah, we are going to save his mother from the mental ward. And we have to go to those maze again. Like, I know some of you are shaking your heads, 
but whatever you are coming with me dead or alive yeah i still got the frames and the memories from the old robocop games so me i've been doing these two together and if you want to ask me which one is better robocop or terminator i mean yeah recently in the mortal kombat those two comes out and beat the shit out of each other but based on what i remember that battle already told us that robocop beats terminator which i'm okay with it because terminator is an ai with a blockhead while the other is a human with a human brain but with physically yeah robot parts so yeah i mean when it comes to thinking okay i mean maybe ai should be better than us but i'm not sure are ai that flexible let's say unpredictable as humans are i got a feeling that one of those days that that may appear i mean the terminator is such a robot which can learn even learn to understand feeling and learn to have feelings the only matter he was not able to cry is because he does not have the part in his eyes and will you say stop the talking and let's get over with the level oh god you have to do this swing thing you know it actually does not work for robots right uh, but right actually you just give an order you just follow orders he won't even swear he's just doing that just they entertain you yeah robots are actually make to serve and entertain their masters they don't mind so one day the terminators go nuts and rebel against skynet hey actually if that happens wouldn't that be fun okay now we are in the infamous maze level see how complex how difficult it is this is the worst part of the game i need to tell you and if we have a map fine but sadly we do not have a map here and this can be seen in a lot of places in the robocop games in the terminator games and not to mention in the alien franchise game especially alien 3 where you need to run around to rescue prisoners before time runs out the only good thing about terminator here it, it does not give you a time limit and it does come up with other things it's t1000 will just sneak out any moment and try to kill you now i'm not going to say this is a bad moment actually it's kind of an influential moment i know that i mean you you guys remember i mean quite recently we have this uh resident evil game where you are being chased around by the nemesis actually some people say they got the idea from here an undestructible enemy chasing you the worst you can do is push him back block him for a few moments and run away and sooner or later before you know it he'll just appear next to you and for some reason you also have got other guys over here and they could kill you which i thought actually hurt you but actually they do hurt you in the game so it doesn't make sense and i need to admit t1000 is not a fast runner compared to the good old t101 and oh god this loading levels are pain all right where the hell is oh not here i'm your girl what i think she's in here right should be in here right oh god I, I, to be fair guys at present i am lost if we are fortunate enough maybe it will take us two hours to end this level oh god do you need to let's say teleport in front of me every time i pass by here passing there it doesn't make sense for you to be that fast oh good lord it doesn't make sense sometimes you can be fast sometimes you can be slow sometimes you teleport in front of me for no good reason i just put it this way the t1000 can be scary oh god i even just got myself killed again okay restart the system restart the system and yeah when you are terminator you actually die in this game it's, it can suck but what the hell all right I just kill you. Yeah, I'm wasting all my animation. <sighs> I got killed. That should just take my time to find Sarah Coda. Oh, Sarah! Yeah, come with me if you want to live. Yes, the catchphrase. Actually, it's better than I will be back. Yeah, I prefer this. I mean, we are here to save people, right? So I'll be back doesn't actually make any sense. Alright, we rescue Sarah Coda. Now let's get the hell out of here. Actually, we didn't get the hell out of here. We need to go and destroy the original Terminator. Which is inside, uh, I think, a very big company, and we need to blow the place up. And this is where we get our Gatling gun. Yeah, we have a Gatling gun here, and is it worth it or not? I can't say. Here we go. Okay, search for program, blah, 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 blah. Okay, time and time, we need to touch this stuff, let's say, 
get the access message that you know what to do but as kids then we don't actually read this stuff so i don't think we're actually let's say finish the whole damn game it's kind of adult not see the stuff materials are matured but only adult thinking or let's say adult understanding will know that this is the way you need to let's say defeat the game when you're a kid you only care to get from point a to point b and destroy the main bad guy and that was it it wasn't this complex i mean yeah in future games let it be your ps psp ps4 to ps5 ps6 xbox whatever number it is or even the goddamn switch or let's say game boys things got complicated but it was then it was far i mean more recent if you are comparing to nes games in nes games you do not think much this is why games like clockwork did not sell well outside japan only those individual hardcore people who read or let's say i was adult to do that and i'm quite certain those people the main players of this game even the terminator games are children and if that was the case do you think they would even bother to read all those pointless bullshit stuff i doubt they would really i really doubt they would so this is kind of pointless and this is kind of sad okay where the hell should i go this time i've been running through a lot of elevators and i still cannot find the place i want to go yeah the movement is quite smooth compared to the first game but the maze level you guys can drop this or at least give us a map to deal with it yeah i can see the arrow the arrow is not helping me believe me the arrow is not helping you it's hinting you telling you where to go and what kind of place is moving oh i made a bomb Oh, I let the fog. I just drop a bomb inside. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. <sighs> did I make it? Did I make it? <sighs> Hopefully, I did make it. If I don't make it, it's kind of bad. I forgot. I was actually putting a bomb here. Yeah. As you saw, forget. You need to do all of this kind of stuff. If you do watch the movie, you know. But if you don't watch the movie, you have no idea what you're doing. And in the end, this game is not necessarily 100%. And now we are at the last level. Yeah. In this level, the tough part is how to kill the T-1000. You know you can slow him down, no doubt. So the best way is to rush all your way and don't even bother beating him. Yeah, but I'm just beating him for fun, fun clicks. Why not? He's gonna be it. I mean, you need to do, make sure he's down first. Then keep on running before around before he responds. Your idea is to lure him to the metal, the pit, the... What do you call that? Uh, the moat, the moat, the moat pit, where you can melt his metal into bits, which doesn't make sense. But rain, if he's in liquid metal, should be melting by now. Okay, that deals with him. Oh, keep on going, keep on going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Left or right, left or right. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Yeah, right, jump, jump, going, jump. Okay, here we go. I assume to jump right. Okay, pointless platform. Very pointless platform, and here we are. Oh, not yet, not yet. Let me go to another place to get the stuff. Get the stuff. Uh, where's it? Where's the place? Oh yeah, I need to get this. Um, okay, I need to go up again. Go up again. Go up again. Yeah, I need to get the controls. Because I can't do anything. Okay, move on. Jump and move. Jump and move. Up the stairs again. Up the stairs again. Yeah, the, the maze here is kind of confusing and tiring. And here we are, waiting for him. Okay. Yeah, using this platform to move to the other side. There, I got myself here. Up, up, up. Moving the platform. Oh, here's the mob pew. Now I need to wait for so the ear to come. Alright. Keep on punching, keep on punching, keep on. Oh, got myself terminated again. Never mind, never mind. I already got here at least a safe point to start. I like can start from here directly. Okay, okay, come on. Jump one more time, one more time. Just come here. Alright, D1000, show your dick and let me kill ya. T1000, okay, here we go, here we go. Keep on punching, keep on punching. Actually, the idea is not to kill him. Yeah, it's to kill him, but the idea is to mo hit him to the moat over there, the melting iron, and that kills him. And T1000 is destroyed because he fell into the moat. Now, th to give credit to the game, it is loyal to the movie, to the T. So, when it comes to the ending part, right? The Terminator, yes, this Terminator over here, I mean, I'm not sure it's gone for some good reason. It's going to kill himself to make sure there's no Terminator machine come out. 
Now I need to point out one thing. After the second Terminator movie, right, the story should have ended, but the franchise is so big and Hollywood is always looking for a chance to make money, so they made a lot of movies and it only got worse and worse and worse. I need to point out the salvation, the Terminator salvation was still fine. My best was one where we were still in the future to see how John Connor, let's say, fought in the resistance. For me, that was the last good Terminator games. The other coming out are not even that good. Let alone the one that actually got John Connor killed when he was a kid and he was replaced by a female messiah. Now, I need to point one thing out. I'm not against of strong female characters. I'm against female characters that are not strong and could not hold their shit. That is the problem of the latest Terminator movie. And that was the thing that got the Jahanta franchise destroyed. It's not to say there are no strong female characters. They are. Sarah Connor is a badass of her age. I mean, the little girl still a little bit badass, but she needs to learn. That's one thing. But the girl that sent back to the past to save her, she does nothing. She's just there to sacrifice her body parts to save someone. That's it. So overall, that was a bad movie for that reason. And that's the end of the Terminator series. So I have no idea what we're we'll doing next time. Maybe we'll just go to the east. Oh, what what is what do you talk about Power Rangers? There is no Power Rangers game in NES. Don't lie to me.